haven't done a video in a little while. I know, I've been staying in Perth and visiting family and then I got the flu and I was feeling like Ugh. So, I haven't done anything, but we are away again, aren't we, Chonka? Excuse me. He's very sleepy because we went for a very, very big hike this morning. But we are in the town of Beverly and Beverly is quite a cute little town this is the second time I've been here and it has um, a caravan park but it also has 48 hour free camping so what I'm gonna do is I need to do some washing so I'm gonna stay a night at the caravan park and then the next two nights I'll stay at the free camping and um, where I've stayed before and I really really enjoyed it so um, Beverly was founded in 1838 and the first police station and the post office was built in 1868 so it's only 130 kilometers from Perth so if you haven't come out here it is it is a really nice drive it's, it does a bit of a loop around so you can go you know like to York and then Beverly and then turn off and go back into Perth which will take you into Kelmscott sort of area so, you know, for a couple of day long weekend trip, let's go for a look around. Let me show you. great idea these are bags and wallets made from cane toad skin it's and dried and then sewn up to smell it eat it and make themselves sick and then not go near them again yeah such a great idea railway station that they've turned into a bit of a museum but because I had Tonka I didn't want to tie him up outside it was a little bit hot so Most of the buildings here were in the early 19th century and although this station is no longer working they've definitely made it a bit of a feature for the town and they've got a beautiful memorial for anyone who lost their lives in the war between 1914 and 1919 I think it was. Please excuse me if that was incorrect. What a nice park tribute to those people. The local butcher, hardware store, the old bank building. Freemasons Hotel, Art Gallery, the Art Garden. This was something really unique. I have never seen this before. I had a little bit of a change of plan. Instead of staying at the caravan park, I've just come directly to the 48-hour um, RV free parking. And then that way I can eat well. <laughs> 
rather than wasting all my money on accommodation. So, and there's a beautiful river just down here in a park and the free RV parking is straight over here. And so, uh, there's little Goldie just there under the tree. So, they have toilets here and they've got free like clean drinking water. Just the dump site is at the back of the caravan park, which is fine. So that's only a couple of um, minutes drive just up the road. So everything looking a little bit dry at the moment. The water's like really clear this time. Last time we were here it was really a bit murky. Ooh, fishies. I don't spend money on accommodation. I definitely go into town and buy some groceries, which I have done. And I've also treated myself to chocolate eclair. The fat girl in me is calling. Mm. And they use fresh cream. God bless you. I love chocolate eclairs. Great thing about being in the van by yourself. <laughs> Don't judge me. You knew you would do the same thing. Oh my god, it's so so good. I'm attempting to make pizzas but on the cooktop so we'll see how we go. With these, if you put them in some coconut oil, just fry them, they taste amazing. I need two hands. Just pop that straight into there and it'll start to puff up and then brown on the bottom. So I'm just going to brown it a bit on one side before I add the rest of the ingredients. It only literally takes a couple of Mm, seconds like it cooks really quickly. I just popped on some pizza base, some spinach, ham, cheese and then I'm going to pop it back in there and pop the lid on and we'll see how it goes. So it wasn't a total fail but the lid on my pan actually didn't quite fit the saucepan but if you're traveling you have to try and come up with alternatives to cooking because you know my space is like very limited and I just had to fight with the flies so I just had to quickly cook and then come back in here and shrill the flies out and then now I can eat this is not a video about me eating either you're just lucky you catching me
out my hair like I literally haven't washed it in maybe eight days and anyway I had my day planned I was going to do my washing clean the van and then go to a hairdresser and have them wash my hair you know just just to feel partially clean because I haven't had a proper shower in over a week now either anyway I was at the laundromat I'd put my clothes in the laundromat and I had gone and got a hot chocolate and I was sitting in my van talking to one of the locals and then I turned around to put the dog in the van so I could go and check my laundry and my sunglasses were on my head and I smacked the sunglasses on the side door of my van and I split my head open I don't know if you can see it because the doctor said she's kind of glued my hair together as well but I was talking to the guy and blood was like dripping down my face and he's like mm, I think you need to go to the doctor I went yeah I know right so I just grabbed a flannel couldn't find the doctor had to go to a vet surgery and say do you have a human doctor in town <laughs> I've just split my face open and I had dry blood over my eyebrow and down my face, which I didn't know. And she's like, oh, yes, just <laughs> date the first right and the first left and it's on the right. And so I went straight to the doctor and I just had it glued because I didn't want to get stitches. So second time in three months, <laughs> I've split my head open. You think that you would learn, but I, I don't know, I just don't learn very well. So I am going to pop away my washing, maybe have a bit of a lie down because I've got a bit of a thumping headache now. And then I'll go for a bit of a walk through York. But that was my trip from Beverly. And if you're ever in Beverly, like go and stay and take the time to go and walk through the shops and meet the local people because they're very beautiful. It's the second time I've been to Beverly and I'm definitely going back there. Hope you enjoyed my video and I hope everyone is safe out there and don't split your head open. <laughs> Peace.